Well, we go on to Las Vegas after a very dreadful race at Atlanta. Two races, two whole points. We sit last uh, behind Carl Long, Morgan Shepard, Ty, geez, Ty Dillon's back on here. Oh, boy. So, yeah, we'll uh, we'll scroll up here and we'll show you what it's looking like. So, uh, Justin Allgaier, your points leader, won Atlanta. So, he now joins Garrett Smithley in the winner's club. And, uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and toggle here. So, if the playoffs were to start today, this is what it looked like. All the way back, uh, Austin Sindrick last out of the 12. So, once again, there's not really much we can do at this point. We're saving up for another chassis. Uh, and that's uh, 610,000. We're just over 300,000 right now. So, it's going to take another couple of races before we get there. We also can't, you know, we have to get another chassis. That way we can sign more employees. And after that, you know, we can uh, up our uh, equipment. So that way we can build better cars. So uh, it's a pretty long process, but at this point we know it needs to be done. We just need to uh, just need to wait it out, get some good finishes, make some money, and we'll get there eventually. And here we go, on to Vegas. And the good news is we qualified, not last, 33rd. So... Yeah, pretty good. Billy Sadler on pole. Good for him. Um, yeah, here we are. Jeez, I feel sorry for these poor people I out-qualified. Jeez. Who did I out-qualify? <laughs> we're about, so we're about to hand out some roses. I out-qualified out quite a few people here. One of them, Vinny Miller. We know about Vinny. He doesn't know how to break in the rain. Uh, Carl Long, understandable. Um, who else we got back here? Jeff Green. Okay, yeah, understandable. Okay, well, that's not, yeah, okay. Un understandable for most of these guys. Spencer Boyd, yeah. Is that a wild Matt Tiff back there? He failed, he did something wrong, right? He crashed or did something, I don't know, I wasn't paying attention. But, um, yeah, like usual at Vegas, we're good in three and four, we're not good in one and two. Can't ever get it to turn one and two, but it turns just fine three and four, so you don't want to, like, you know, over adjust and make it, like, just way loose in one and two. Or we'll loosen it up for one and two, and then just be out of control in three and four. So it's manageable in one and two, and that's, that's all that really matters, I think. So, um, and the good thing is, it seems like for whatever reason, we're a little bit more competitive. I think mostly because you know we actually sort of kind of have to drive it here. It's kind of bugged me about being slow in the truck series is that it like it doesn't really require any skill. I mean, you know, there's only so much you can do when you hold it wide open, and that's kind of what our problem was in Atlanta. There wasn't a whole lot we could do there because all we did was just hold it wide open. So, at least this this takes a, a little bit of skill. We actually kind of you know, got to get out of the gas a little bit and, and drive it a little bit. Um, although we're not really doing it all too well right here, but, you know, it's kind of tough to get through this traffic. We haven't really made it to the bottom yet either. Oh, here we go. How you doing, Chad? Mm, oh, man. Hey, I got more sponsors than Chad Fincham. <laughs> Loser. I've got like one more sponsor than him. Man, he's only got like one contingency sponsor too. Damn. Rough life for Chad. This thing's feeling pretty good, man. It's, um. I can't tell if it's handling the bumps good or bad. <laughs> it's just kind of like over the bumps. I don't know. It's very bumpy in one and two. Once again, three and four. Mm, nice and smooth. You can just kind of, oh yeah. Drive it off in there. Give Carl along a little tappy tap. Man, it's a shame. Like, we lose so much time in one and two. And, like, down the back. And then by the, you know, by the time we get to three and four, we gain it all back. But now we just lose so much damn time right here. There's nothing really we can do about it. It's just, like, I don't know. It's just, like, slow. You hear the front tires just, like, grinding away. Oh, man, Morgan's catching us now. Here we go. My tires start wearing. Everybody else isn't really... Yeah, I'm not even sick of three and four anymore. Uh, that's great. Oh, man. Just gets that point in the run, man. Hey, yeah, Morgan, go get him. Damn it. Yeah, that sucks. Oh, my. What the hell? How did that happen? Who was that? <laughs> Who was that? Did, Ro did I just see Ross Chastain say it's just I had a stroke. Ross Chastain, stage winner. What the fuck? Well, he beat Elliot Sadler. That's not really much of an accomplishment. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we're going to pit. Yeah, just pack it full and we'll continue. There's, yeah, there's not really much we can do to it, man. It's like we need the nose to turn. All right. Yeah, P38. No spots gain or lost. 
So, let's see what we can do here in stage two. I guess we just want to set ourselves up for stage number three. Um, yeah, so what's... Damn, okay. We can go pretty far on fuel. 15 laps it's showing. About 14 to 15. So, we're going to end... Oh, yeah, it's going to be pretty routine then. I think. I don't know. We'll have to see how many... Hmm. Yeah, I'm trying to think. How many laps is this race totally? Can I even tell? No, I can't. That's that's great. Yeah, well, I guess we'll, we'll we'll think about what we could possibly do to pull some strategies. Uh, pull pull some strategies out. I, the only thing I could possibly think of at this point, uh, you know, knowing what we got with the stage caution and everything, there's a chance that we could stay out at the end of this stage and then make. Because we're pretty sure that everybody's going to have to make a green flag pit stop. The, the problem with that, though, is, is that we'd have to get in our fuel window. So we'd have, like, five laps left in the tank. If we could get it in our fuel window with those five laps, then it would make sense to stay out, probably. I don't think we'd lose that many spots. I mean, we'd lose a lot of them, but not as many. All right, I've had enough of this shit. Oh, man, we're going to wreck right here. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, boy, that was close. If that was NASCAR E2, it might have been a wreck. That's what I get for trying to make a move. Last. All right, Carl. No, oh, I just want a little bit of side draft, man. Is that too much to ask? Come on, I just... Fucking Christ. Okay. Expert saved by Carl. We'll be seeing you. Well, at least the good thing is, we're not eight seconds off of Carl Long like last week. This race isn't totally over yet, but it's pretty much over. The, that's the only thing, man. We're going to have to get a well-timed caution in stage number three. Man, if we could get a good-timed caution to where we could get it to the point to where we were like a lap short on fuel, a lap or two, and try and save it. Oh, man, that would be huge. I think that's really going to be our only hope at this point is fuel mileage races. It is, uh, oh, boy, this is rough. All right, well. This is the last lap of the stage. Sweet. What are we looking? Oh, okay, so we actually ended up saving a little no bit of fuel. Of All right, so another real question is, how many laps do we have left? And can I, like... Wow, Ross Chastain. So, oh, jeez, he's still got a long time to go here. Oh, yeah, we got a pit. All right. So, yeah, at this point, this is going to be a routine uh, one-stop race. Man, I hope we get a good time. Oh, God. Should have put my hands on the wheel. I took off the thing just jerked itself. All right, here we go. So, yeah, man, if we could get a good time caution somewhere around the fuel window, that would be huge. 15 estimated. Uh, and we've got, uh, what, 25, 26 laps to go, something like that. So we'll see what we could do. <laughs> we were competitive in the first stage. And then we ran in the ass of Carl Long and just lost everything. And it seems like everybody's 10 miles an hour quicker than me on the straightaways. Going on the back, so that's that's nice. I'm only really fast in one spot, and that is turn three, and then that's it. So, you know, once again, I like to. I like. I, I've said this before many times. I really appreciate the fact they they took their time and they made it harder this year. They made the AI harder, but. Um, it's not really much of a challenge if the AI, like, if, if your only, like, problems are just, like, speed. Like, handling's not really my problem because I, ha I can get through the corners just, just as good as most of these guys. Uh, it's always just, like, straightaway speed. So it's never going to be, like, totally fun, like, 100% until they can find out a different way to challenge the user than just making them slow on the fucking straightaways. It's just, like, half-assed. That's just a half-assed way of making a challenge. You know what I mean? Yeah, I was talking about my my grandma's Camry <laughs> in uh, one of my latest F1 videos. I think it's making an appearance here in these last couple of races. Good God, man. At least we're, we're hanging. There you go. It's three and four. Yeah, that's another pass. All right. Yeah, another one. Thank you. Sure, it's nice to be fast in at least one section of the track compared to my, my, you know, who I'm racing. Oh man, we just gotta hold on for the for the rest of the lap. I mean, we're we're okay through one and two, not great, but we can kind of like right there. And they do that like stick at the bottom shit where they just like gain up time right there. But 
Yeah, if we can just get to three and four, then we can, we can just gap them. Mm, there it is. Look at that. Then we can use up all the track. And it's that time of the run where my tires have made me even slower on the straightaways. Either that or, well, yeah, I guess. I don't know. It's very apparent on the plate tracks. It's always kind of hard to tell what goes wrong after a while, but I think we can all just come to an agreement at some point in the long run. The, these guys just don't really fade like I do, and there's just nothing really I can do about that either. Once again, can we please come up with another challenge other than making the AI cars like to the point where they don't even like wear tires? I don't know, man. There's a lot going wrong here, but yeah, we'll keep on it. Oh, problems. Problems, Wendy. We've got a problem. Oh, this is right. going to be right on the fuel window, but I think it's going to be too far. Damn. Well, Kaz Growler ran out of talent, and there's a lot of guys staying out. Oh, the field is split. Oh, shit. Well, I'm pitting. Oh, this got really interesting. Oh, it just got really interesting. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm pretty sure everybody who pit is going to be able to make it. If they can't make it, they're going to be really close. All those guys, the top half of the field to stay out definitely can't make it. We've got 15 to go. We're right here on the fuel window now. Oh, oh yeah, this is what we needed right here. Oh, that's huge. So we're going to be a little short, but we ought to be just fine. But I think we're just, like, short enough. Let's see. It's still on 15. So. Oh, yeah. So what? It just went down to 14 right there. So, I mean, three and four right there. So we're about, we're under half a lap short. I think that's close enough to where the AI could probably get, get there. So... We know those guys who stayed out can't make it. If we go green here, we're going to see somebody stupid probably win this race. I'll probably finish in the top half of the field, and I'll take that. We just need this thing to go green up into the point, at least into the point to where everybody starts making green flag pit stops, those guys who didn't pit. Wow, this is... Uh, I'm surprised. Like, I don't even really know if that's much of a gamble. Like, because I'm trying to think. Like, I remember that was one of the biggest things coming in NASCAR Heat 3 was that AI cars would make, like, gambles. And, and like, they, they, they would gamble and, and, and stuff like that on strategies. But, honestly, that wouldn't even really make sense not to or to stay out there, like, at all. I mean, it just wouldn't make any sense to bank on a caution like that this, at this stage of the race. So, especially that close to the fuel run. Or close to the, uh, the fuel window, so... Ooh, yes. <laughs> That's what we needed, though. I'll take it. I don't care if they're stupid or not. If it benefits me, I'll take it. Well, at least, you know, on the bright side to being so slow, I'm so slow that I can, you know, it's pretty easy for me to not cause a caution. You know, if I was quick enough to actually race most of these guys, there's a good chance I'd probably, like, do something stupid and cause a caution when I didn't need one. But, yeah, it's going to be pretty hard for me to do that now, so. There's that. Oh, here we go. There's a string of cars already on pit road, some leaders. Yeah, P35. All right, eight laps to go. Oh yeah, we're already, yeah, we're definitely good on fuel for sure. That's how slow we are, man. Oh man, somebody was scurching up there. I thought that was gonna be a caution there for a minute. But yeah, we're so slow, man. Like, we have no choice but to save fuel. Oh, big string of them right there. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, yeah. P20, baby. All right. Sweet. Oh, man. Yeah, these guys are going to lap down. So, uh, I think we're going to get away with the top 25. I'll be damned. My incentive contract actually, um, yeah, they actually knew what was going on then. Man, if only we were like, oh, what the hell? Jeremy Clements. Oh, man, there's a lot of guys pitting. Interesting. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. What the hell? We. Uh, <laughs> what the hell is going on here? This is a mess. If I ever seen one. 
Somebody up there is dicking up the line. Uh, oh, yeah, it looks like a JD Motorsports car. I have the P17. Yeah, the biggest thing is a lot of these guys are lapped down, so the caution comes out, I'm staying out. Oh, yeah, look at Justin all guy. Mm, slide up, blew everybody out of the way. Yeah, if only we were just a little bit, like, further outside of the fuel window, and I could save it. There's probably a chance I could probably win this race if I were to save fuel. I mean, it, once again, it's so easy to save fuel because we're so damn slow. But, once again, I think we're, we we're close enough that the AI will be able to save it. Or they probably already have saved enough, to be honest. You would still, if they ran out, they'd probably be far enough in front of me to coast home. They'd be running out in three and four somewhere, and that'd probably be close enough. Oh, no. Please, no caution. Ross Chastain, it looks like just mowed the wall down back there. No caution. We're okay. No debris. It looked like he missed pit road. Yeah, if we didn't get a caution at this point, I think we're okay. All right. My heart sunk in for a minute. Yeah, we just need this thing to go green, man. Oh, man, if I could finish P17, that'd be, that'd be pretty damn sexy. Two to go. Jeez, and there, <laughs> there is just a wave of cars up there. There's a lot of, it's at this point where there's a lot of fast cars on, um, on new tires, and there's just a lot of guys like me who are really slow. And that's, that's why there's a big wave of cars back there just trying to get through each other. Man. My tires are just shot at this point, man. Look at this. My right front's at 47. Oh, I just saw the tires just melting at this point. Melted. A white flag. Yeah, I've never, I, I don't think we ever had a scenario like this in the truck series. Where like, the well, like half of the field just didn't pit. <laughs> That's just weird. I, like, I, I still don't understand the call. I mean, because of that, we're going to get an easy top 20. So I'll take it, but... Uh, yeah! Yeah! Pretty sure somebody stupid had to have won this race. I'll take it, man. P17. Thank the Lord, we needed that finish, man. Show me the money. All right. Let's take a look at this. Who won? Ryan Sieg! Ryan Sieg won. Steven Light second. Oh, Jesus Christ. Let's take a look at this again. Joni Machek, Tommy... J Pfft, Michael Lynette, top five. Morgan, P16. Good good strat call. God, hold on. This is, <laughs> it goes by too quick. Spencer Boyd, Josh Williams. Oh, my God. Carl Long almost had a top ten. Gotta love it, man. Gotta love this game. Man, we're getting closer. We're getting a lot closer to this chassis, this next chassis. So now we're over 400,000. Wow, Denny Hamlin, 10,000 fans. You are becoming a star. That's pretty awesome. Hashtag Mike. What? <laughs> I like the space. Hashtag space. Michael Space Cozy Junior Nation. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Call what you will, but that top 20 by any other name would be just as sweet. Wait, what? What does that even mean? Call it what you will, but that top 20 by any other name would be just as sweet. You sure about that? The world's a racetrack? Like, what? What? That's a shame. They don't have a picture of Vinnie Miller with him and his neck beard. He's got a pretty sick neck beard. Oh, some real nice driving out of Las Vegas. Wow, no period either. Jeez. Finally, we go to a short track. Well, I consider it a short track. He definitely at least got to drive Phoenix, so that's great. And look at this. We are finally at a last place. Ty Dillon, nine hole points in three races, is being outscored by not only myself, BJ McLeod, Morgan Shepard, Carl Long, Jeremy Clements. Vin like, the list goes on. Ty Dillon is shit. Even the game thinks so. Well, that'll do it. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed. It helps me out a ton. But we're going on to Phoenix next video, so I hope you guys will come back. Uh, hopefully, we can put together a pretty good result. I mean, today was a pretty good result. It was kind of bullshitty, but, you know, I'll take it. Anyway, we can get them. D uh, Phoenix, I think we can absolutely run a little bit better. So I look forward to that. Once again, that'll do it for me today. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next video.